Well, welcome here at the Etihad. Liverpool have been eliminated from the Carabao Cup, beaten 3-2 by Manchester City. The reign as holders of the trophy is now over. Uh, what have you, did you make of the game, Paul? I mean, quite entertaining when you consider that neither team has played for what, six weeks. Yeah, I mean, it really was an entertaining game, wasn't it? 3-2 Carabao Cup game with uh, both teams properly going for it, actually. I was surprised by the, the strength of the two teams. Um, when you think, you know, Mohamed Salah was playing, Erling Haaland, Kevin De Bruyne, Thiago, the stars on both sides of the, of, the, of the divide, and I was surprised by that, to be honest. I was thinking maybe Liverpool were going to go quite strong, I didn't expect well, the goals to go as strong as, as he did. A um, little bit of kidology in the press conference leading up to it, wasn't it, suggesting he didn't have too many players, and, and City's involvement at the World Cup was by far away the, the most in, in the Premier League. I think they had 16 in total. Um, obviously brought on a couple who were involved, didn't he? Jack Grealish and Phil Foden. I don't think Liverpool had anyone. I think Henderson came on, didn't he? But certainly no one in the starting lineup was at the World Cup. Henderson. N Nunes, Nunes, Nunes was there, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah Nunes, sorry, yeah. But yeah. obviously he was the only one out of the whole lot to have not got into the knockout stages. So. Yeah, yeah. And when, when you when you factor in, there's no Diaz, no Jota, no Firmino. Those options were, 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 were tired, really, wasn't it? But it was an insane game. You know, both teams really went for it. Liverpool won't come up against the team as good as City, really. I think Klopp said that after the game, and he, you, know, you can kind of accept that City are, are creating chances and having the better of it for, for large spells because of how good they are on their own turf. Uh, so ultimately, you know, I mean, I don't think they'll lose too much sleep over it, but it's just frustrating that 40 days without the game, the first one back is a defeat of the City team, and probably the main vibes at the moment. You know, so that'll be a little tank of frustration, but ultimately, tomorrow when he wakes up, I think he'll be thinking, you know, you know you either, you either go out early or you go on and win it and you know Liverpool won it in February and now they're out in, in December and I think you're just looking ahead to the Premier League now because there's so many games that are going to be packed in between now and uh, the end of the day. The, the, there will be a temptation for some people, certain Liverpool's critics, to say well look, you know, they've come back from six weeks off, start of the second part of the season which has been built up as you know they've been speaking about yeah. the refresh and they've been in Dubai and they've done this that and the other, then they go and lose to City. I mean I've read a piece, I'm sure you mentioned the same thing, saying yeah, look yeah it's not great that they got beat by City but as you mentioned it's the hardest game they could possibly play and mm -hmm. um, they've come back and they've come twice come back from being behind because there's a, there was a very good chance in that first 10-15 minutes when Haaland did score Liverpool kind of all over the place a little bit weren't they they yeah. very much looked a team that hadn't played for quite some time and was playing with a formation that oh, sorry a lineup should say up against a formation they weren't quite expected so it was it was difficult but you know they deserve credit and mentioned Nunes for having played in the World Cup <laughs> if he puts away one of those yeah. three chances that he had which were all kind of the identical chances where he was played in it's kind of one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper you certainly could see the whites of the eye, you know, of his eyes and uh, dragged it across the face of goal each time yeah they were both from, from well all three of them were from similar angles where he kind of wide right and he, and he snatched at it going across the face of goal if he connects cleanly with one of those he, he maybe sticks it away on another day and Liverpool will come away or even so it depends, and I mean, I'll go with a lot of penalties. Well, less, less is friendly. You well, yeah, 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 there is that. But yeah, I mean, it's it's a frustrating one just because of the identity of the opponent, the fact that they've got to play for 40 days and they come back and now they're out the cup, the defence of the cup is over. But, you know, in, in three, four weeks' time, we're not going to be worrying too much about this performance or this result, are we? We're going to be looking at can Liverpool get themselves up, 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 up the table, seven points behind, Tottenham the fourth, you know, with, with a game in hand. Still got a lot to play for. They're going to be cramming in the equivalent of pretty much a season where they work hard between now and the end of May, which is remarkable, really, um, given the way that you know, we're used to Liverpool playing games. And there's a theory that Liverpool are at the best when they're kind of just on a bit of a roll. We've seen that towards the back end of last season, and they only played 63 games and he went to every final and every competition they were involved in, right to the very last few seconds of the Premier League season. Um, so they're going to have to kind of rediscover that at some point. Um, this was not the ideal way to start, but ultimately I still think there were one or two positives to look at and think, well, okay, there are some shoots of recovery from the pool for, you know, getting up that table going forward. Yeah, I mean, it was a very big show paid to step on back to actually start, and he did, wasn't the only one who struggled, but he certainly, you know, he'll alert more in than 45 minutes the rest of his, you know, his fledgling senior career put together. Um, but the way you mentioned that about some positives, there were some positives in the, in the sense of some performances. See, Alex Oxley chamberlain came, and I thought he did well second half. You know, Nunes, despite the missed chances, he got into those positions and he caused the City problems. Salah, he got a goal and he, 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 he tended to be looked like as he has been for quite a lot of the season. He, he looked quite a decent form. And in midfield, Henderson came on, made a bit of a difference. Thiago as well, 
Yeah, I, I think Nunes, you know, finishing aside um, 40 core problems, he's, he's unbelievably quick, isn't he? When he sets mm. off on, on a turn, he really does kind of race away from whoever the defenders are. We've seen that with the, the, the assist for Salah. We've seen it within well, two minutes. He, he gets put through by Milner, doesn't he? And it's a really good recovery tackle from the board to, to block the, the shot. But I'd say in another night, he could, he could have had a couple of goals. He just needs to, to maybe slow things down a little bit in front of the ball. I think that's one of the things that block has been talking with him about it. I remember him saying he had a, quite a long chat with him and Pep Linders did you think before the Arsenal game mm. and one of the things they were talking about was just to slow it down just to calm down a little bit of front of goal and he was a little bit of rash at times when he had his chances tonight but on another night if he, if he does kind of you know take on board the advice he, he sticks one of those away maybe and I still think he was, he was one of those most dangerous players and, and just even hopeful balls in the and he chases them down like a you know bubble china shop doesn't he and he just causes problems and I thought he took his, his assist for Salah really well to be fair. I don't think Salah was expecting the pass. Yeah. Um, Salah almost kind of stuck his foot out and just hit his fucking goes in, but he did really well for that. And yeah, I suppose you know, he, he was a bit rash with his finishing, but generally he was all around the fault for the season. Well, we've had some stewards, uh, fans, and some city staff members, and now a band come past us, so I think it's probably time for us to go. Football's back, and uh, we'll see you again at Villa Park on Monday. Cheerio.